Well, this summer storms also brought a weather phenomenon seldom seen in the heartland of America, a tropical storm in the middle of Oklahoma. Our final stop takes us to Kingfisher, where this Oklahoma town received extensive damage after the remains of Hurricane Aaron poured over six inches of rain in just one day. Here's our Brian Bendeley. Well, Rob, officials here want to resurrect a 21-year-old flood control plan. In fact, after the flood swept through Kingfisher on August 19th, local officials met with state and federal officials requesting over $200,000 in federal funds to help establish a water feasibility study. From the west, we have Kingfisher Creek. And when we get water in the, what, we do, what we call the Jip Hills, and that comes and comes quickly, then right down here in the northeast part of town, we also have Uncle John's Creek coming from the east. And when those two watersheds meet and the Cimarron River fills up after six inches of rain in one night, then Kingfisher floods. And it is something city manager Richard Reynolds doesn't want to see again, but he knows the remedy could cost as much as $20 million. If you look at all the money that's been lost through loss of revenue, uh, the construction loss we've had, the business loss we've had, the replacement of people's homes that we've had. If we'd have done this a long time ago, $20 million wouldn't look so big today. Over 160 structures were damaged by floodwaters and an estimated 800 residents were displaced after the flood. And now, three months later, a committee has been formed to promote the watershed plan. I've been here 12 years at this location and this is my third flood. Brian Walters, owner of Walter Building Center, is on the committee and says both his facilities experienced 42 inches of flood water. But nonetheless, he feels if the committee can pass the watershed project, downtown Kingfisher will be prime real estate. I'm quite confident that you'd be seeing Tulsa, Oklahoma and Oklahoma City in the same situation as us if flood mitigation work had not been done in their watersheds. But flood mitigation work has been done for those downtown communities in their watershed. The governor has declared Kingfisher as one of seven state emergency areas, meaning they will share $10 million appropriated by the legislature. But more is needed. Senator Mike Johnson. It looks to me like if we can get a little bit of help from or quite a bit of help from the federal government uh, that they may be now able to, to start doing something. Put some small dams up, you know, about 13 or 14 up, upstream and maybe that'll help. The thrust will be for prevention, try to see what we can do to limit some of the future floods. Something residents can only hold their breath on, especially with every drop of rain. Well, you know in your heart that it's not going to flood that day. You know that those kinds of patterns lead to flooding. So you, you do, you, uh, you kind of sleep with one eye open. You're always a little bit nervous when you get sustained rain. Making Kingfisher a community desperately in need of support, especially after this Highway 33 bridge is closed down due to massive erosion and heavy rainfall.